Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to color correct your images using a little bit more advanced technique. First of all you need to bring out your uh, sample points dialog which is located in Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Sample Points. Once you do that, the way you actually select these sample points is by control clicking on the ruler then bringing down the point. Now we need to select three points for shadows, midtones, and highlights. So let's do that. Here you can see your point and uh, the information about the red, green, and blue channels. You select the second point, a midtone. I'll select this shadow because it has kind of a bluish, you know, color which I want to fix. So I'll select here. Here is the information again. We select the third point of a shadow something like that maybe no you can move the point by the way this hmm. this is fine uh, now what we need to do is to adjust the red channel to match the green channel and then the blue channel to match the green channel again which means that all these values have to be the same then that means that the pixel is color correct and the image will have more correct colors so the way of doing that is uh, go to color curves now we need to put these red points in here on the curve first we need to select the red channel then uh, we start with the lowest one uh, 36 as you can see you get this information here you need to be 36 36 so it has to be correct it's kind of tricky doing that this one is done and then it's 95 I guess uh, okay next one is 186 okay now let's start matching them we need to m make this red 35 to 38 yes so we push it up a little yes as you can see it's done now uh, next this point there is some lag because of the recording it should appear faster okay next one okay now we're done here we can hit ok and um, open up curves again or you can just go to the blue channel because it saves the previous information and you can put these points now here 33 is the first point there you go uh, another one Okay, 94. Okay, now let's match them. It's kind of tricky process, but it gives very good results okay we match this one now the next one we need to bring it down as you can see we got too much blue in the image and that's why I need to reduce it and this will make the image more warm with better colors okay a little bit more a little bit more Oops. 
still not done. Okay, and the final point. This will be a lot more faster for you because you're not going to experience the lag from the recording. And now it's done. We just hit OK and we got our image color corrected. Now let's open it one more time as a layer. We'll open it as a layer so we can see the difference. And you can see now how much more warmer colors the shadows are no longer blue as you can see look here how bluish the image is the shadows are no longer blue the image is much more brighter you have this warm image which is much better than it used to be as you can see so this is it i hope you like this tutorial and if you did subscribe to my channel I'll post more videos with more advanced techniques about dealing with GIMP.